Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Faces Sagist and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, this is episode 4. In the last episode we advanced, well basically a lot of the other side quests. And basically in this episode we will just be making a bunch of stuff. And basically just dropping down a bunch of trees and stuff like that. So for now, let's actually focus on the wooden grave fence and the wooden cross as well. Because we did get a new body a while back and I really should just, you know, focus on that to get my graveyard rating up by a little bit. And you know, this right on over here, I'm just gonna mark it all. This will be the well, basically, how do I say this? This will be the cheap side. If I can say it like that. Okay. I can bury a bunch of other bodies in here. Yeah, I can go from the sides here. Could access that by the sides. And, well, let's leave it like that as well. We have a bunch of new grave sites. This will be the, well, basically the old graveyard. By the time the new ones come, the new ones will be mostly marble and, let's say, stone fences and stuff like that. Now my graveyard rating is at 20, which isn't a lot, but it's still pretty good. And let's just chop this down. And what was that? Eh, uh, of course, the most important thing you don't know. In any case, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we should really focus just on chopping down the trees. Yeah, I'll have just enough energy for that. So, two logs, and I'll need to set up a stone cutter camp. And I'll go mining there on the donkey's day off. Which should be every church service, I believe. Something like that. Okay. Now, we could, so we could start the astrologer quest line. And I'm not gonna do that just yet. We still have plenty of time to get all of the quests done. I'm mostly just gonna focus on, well, basically just the materials. I should be opening up my church basically in this episode, I believe. We got the beer for that guy. We need to meet the Inquisitor and... Let's actually just deposit all of this in here, and let's keep the burial certificate on us. Uh, let's check the garden, I believe, yeah, boy. Okay, got three carrot seeds. Okay. I'm gonna visit the merchant, see if I can plant something more. Let's see. I can only plant one carrot. Oh, here I can plant one beet. That's basically it, but I got a lot of carrots, to be fair. I'm just gonna keep the carrots here, uh, because that's basically ammo for me. I got some crop waste as well, and I got some beets to sell to the farmer. And I'll take a look at actually planting down some wheat and actually making some uh, mune. But uh, the farmer is a bit off. Might as well visit the lighthouse then. If I take a look at the map, the lighthouse should be... Wheat farm all the way over there. Or the, Yeah, all the way over there. So now we're just going to go ahead and visit the farmer, see what I can buy. I want to invest into crops. I will also need to invest into the blacksmith because I can sell him the coal. 
Uh, the merchant does want a lot of my goods, a lot of the crops. But quite frankly, I don't really care about that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can sell you this for one silver twenty-nine. Okay, and I can buy thirteen. I'm gonna need eleven, so that's one silver. Basically, I'm gonna get six silver out of that. And let's see, wheat twice. I'm gonna buy all of that. So I need to give him four coppers, uh, four silvers and 66 coppers. Okay, that's good. That's going to keep me in the green with him because then, you know, he has to have money in order to give me money. So basically in a lot, in some sort of sense, he is basically like a bank. Yeah, that sort of made sense in my head. Now that I think about it. In any case, we're just going to head to the lighthouse to talk to the astrologer, see about, you know, heading home and stuff like that. We do have some eggs here. We do have another merchant that's, yeah, that's here. It'll be important later on, but for now, let's just focus on... Oh yeah, he's not here. Yeah, he should be up here then. Let's focus on the astrologer and to see what can actually be done. To see if I can actually pick up fishing or is he down? No, he's right here. There we go. And now you deliver a body to me. Ah, fucking hell. Well, I gotta hurry up home now. That's just great. Uh, swear to God, I have no idea where I am, by the way. Uh, if it gets to 90%, I'll just harvest everything and just chuck it. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see about getting that teleport stone that's like two silver. I do believe I'll have enough as soon as I sell my burial certificate. But it should decay a little bit slower at uh, the morgue. So give me that. And give me that. Okay. Uh, use. Sweet home. Okay, perfect. Now that does have a cooldown. So I'll need to sort that out as well. It's a 98%. Perfect. And I'll basically get my money back for the teleport stone that I did. So let's remove the blood. Perfect. Let's remove the fat. There we go. Now we can just bury the body and we can do the headstone right away. Because tomorrow we will have the inspection as well. So let's just throw this down there. 97%. Perfect. There we go. Let's plop you in there. And that's another silver 50 for me. Tomorrow we'll be opening up the church as well. So that'll be another 2 to 3 silvers, I believe. Okay. Let's actually focus on planting. Uh, not beets, but plant some carrots. Carrots and another carrot. And over here I can actually plant some wheat. And I will need more of these plots. So let's plop down a couple more of them. Yeah, I believe this will be satisfactory. And now I just have to dig them all up. That's the main problem. There we go. That's another one. Six times four is... 24. Six, 12, 18... Yeah, 24. Yeah, I believe I'll have... I'll even have some to spare. 
Yeah. Or am I just being an idiot? I don't know. Uh, we'll be turning wheat to flour and I'll be able to sell that for a little bit of a profit and I will actually need two planks here so I can give the body a headstone and a wooden gray fence wooden cross there we go I'm just stocking up on the red points I'm gonna need them sooner or later or something quite big and I believe I should have went and gotten some rest but we'll be opening up the church tomorrow morning I gotta get at least the actual gravestone down there we go let's go for the fence perfect 23 and let's actually use this home sweet home and let's sleep uh, in order to get the royal stamp from snake and in order to progress the storyline with mrs charm we will need fate points and in order to get fate points we need to open up the church and in order to get the blue points we will need to open up the church so basically almost everything depends on the church Which I personally don't really like, but okay. Uh, we got the crops down, we got the bodies down. I will also need to clear out the rubble. The graveyard is looking a okay, at least the side that I'm using. The Inquisitor is needed for the left side. I fixed the graveyard. Hereby pronounce your official keeper and prior of this search. Let's arrange your first sermon. Haha, <laughs> it'll be a great honor for you to have me present. What words? The words! Okay. Museums to get a lot of fun. A long story short, all this stuff will help you to get more faith. And faith is power. Okay, let's start praying. We will need a casual prayer. Church quality sermon needs 10. Success chance 100%. Ah, uh, hmm. Um, may the force be with you. But my sermons are much better. Should really prepare. I think let's practice some books with some wonderful words in the church library. You probably some stuff in there too. Okay, we got that. If I understand you do the form of weekly sermon on, I can sell some useful accessories for it. Also, a small test for you. Yada 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 yada. Okay. We got the church. Uh, we should also put up some benches. But we can't do anything without blue points, basically. And in here, they will actually leave the money. But the church is opened. And he just left. Uh, you have to mention. Also, you please inform me that we're using this lens. Okay. Uh, da -da. There we go. An exclamation permission is one silver seventy five. For a citizen, it's ten copper. There we go. I can get the royal stamp for fifty silver. Building permission is twenty silver. I think I'll be going for the royal stamp. They'll actually allow me to sell the meat that I've been gathering. Here basically we have a bunch of other stuff that we can research. So let's actually use this so we can create a speed potion. Over here you can basically chuck down a bunch of stuff like so and see we will get some notes and let's drop this down as well we'll get some more notes we'll get a bunch of blue points from the study table here so we'll need to pick an item to study 
decompose, decompose, that'll give us eight. See, I will need one fate point and one of these things in order to study it. And that'll award you with a bunch of blue points. See, that's 20 blue points. Let's actually study the fat. There we go. That's even more blue points. And last but not least, let's actually study the chaos solution. That uh, doesn't require anything. And they'll give me five, uh, five blue points. This is for green points, red. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, this is all for red ones. Red and greens. Okay. Uh, the notes are a bit complicated to get, more or less. We already have a study table, so we don't need that. We, I should actually look at clearing this out. But see, that requires a wooden bean, and that requires something else entirely. I should look into church decorations as well. But basically what I'm saying is we have 45 points to spend. And I'm just gonna plop down here in case Donkey shows up. Okay. Now in theology. Uh, church benches are good. Uh, these things are good. Stone gravestones are good. Cremation is very important. So I'm just gonna get that. That's five points. That's cheap. Light of Fate is also good, but let's go into book writing. Writing. That'll allow me to... Church workbench, pigskin... Okay, we're going to ignore that for now. And actually focus on building woodcutter. Yeah, that's a really good one, but I really writing... Yeah, we'll need the notes. Okay, journalist, you know the little things about people. Okay, let's get both of these. And let's spend 10 points on that. Writing supplies, scroll shelf, ink. Study table, okay. That's for now. Uh, what else do I want to do? Woodcutter is also very important. Make more firewood images from log chunks. I want to get that one. And I have 10 points left. I'm gonna get Comfort of Fate. And I'm gonna get Light of Fate. Okay. Okay, so no donkey today. Which is just fine by me. Okay, I didn't get a lot of stuff. But I did get the stuff that matters. At least for now. I oh, know, uh, actually, the other way around. Okay, now let's see what I actually need for the crematorium. The crematorium is actually going to save me a lot of hassle. And it'll actually afford me some interesting opportunities. Place for burning corpses, I will need 8 wooden billets. Okay, that's really not that hard to get. Let's just drop down this. There we go, let's try, there we go, and another one from this one, perfect, let's just line all of this up, like so, yeah, okay, I can just do it like this, three at a time, not really a problem, one, Two and another one. I believe it can fit one more. Although I'm not really sure. We shall find out soon. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. I will need a lot of them. How many do I have here? I have three. So how many can I actually get from this? Four. Twenty-four. Okay, we'll need all of this. Uh, I believe four is the maximum that you can have. You know, now I can actually pick and choose the bodies that I want. Over there. 
at my graveyard. And the rest I can just bury. Uh, burn. You will still get a burial certificate. Yeah, four of them. 8, 16, 24. And I'm gonna need five more for another one. Every burning will cost me eight wood. And that is a bit of a problem. Okay. Okay, perfect. Wait, why do I... Oh, that needs to be built as well. Perfect. Hold on. Let me just chuck all of these along the way. And I'm just gonna get some sleep. And I believe I'll call this an episode. Uh, we opened up the church, finally. That'll allow us to make some money. We also discovered the new money-making opportunities. Which is just perfect, you know? And the donkey will come demanding carrots. I am ready for him. Plus he will give me more carrot seeds. So, in any case, this is it for this one.